prophet Elijah faced some seemingly overwhelming challenges in his time. We read about his greatest challenge when facing the prophets of Baal and Mount Carmel. Carmel. The story is found in 1 Kings chapter 18, beginning at verse 20. Let me see if I can find that.
Oh, great. She's not only a magician, a fairy out of nowhere. <laughs> she's a comedian. <laughs> okay, what do you have? Well, I do have some papers for your signature. Now, okay. here's a pen, and envelopes, okay. some papers, okay. right there. Let me take a look. Okay. Oh, great. So, the, uh, the gauges decided to become members after all, huh? Well, oh, did you have any doubt about that? Well, no, I suppose I, I didn't, but, you know, after I visited their house last week, I, I feel like I kind of embarrassed myself when I was there. Embarrassed? You? I didn't think anything would embarrass you. Well, you know, I went in doing my usual door-to-door -door salesman routine, trying to get him to sign on the line, join the church, right? And uh, Sally, you know, I gave her my spiel and she listened right. politely. And then, I just, I don't know what, what happened, but she said, let's just get down to business. And she shared a whole bunch of concerns that she's been having, um, she and Jim and Sarah. But what's the problem with that? I mean, aren't pastors supposed to be good listeners? Didn't you even take a course like that in college? Seminary, pardon me. What did you say? Just kidding. <laughs> Did he get it? Got it. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Another bad joke. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. <laughs> well, you know, we are good listeners. Of course you are. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, things got really kind of strange because I think I said some things that just didn't really sound that good about how they were all like really great members and everything and and uh, things happened. Well, I don't know, the, the impression that I had of them that they were, you know, a really great together couple and, and they had everything going for them. Yeah, that's the impression I had too. But uh, apparently they don't have everything going for them and I walked in and I said that and I let that slip out to Sally. Oh. Well, I guess that's why you were embarrassed. Uh, yeah. But uh, it didn't seem to discourage them, Pastor Chris. Would you sign that, and then I can uh, be oh, on my way? Oh, sure, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Where's the X? Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, here's this letter. And okay. Let me give. Let me look. take a look at this other All one right, here. thank you. Okay, let's see. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about this. Um, I wanted to write a letter to the uh, newspaper about... The other Bell, one, right, and right. the Bell Choir concert uh, last week. I just wanted to thank them for the nice write-up they did. Um, okay, let's see. You know, you know what's really funny, Mitzi? In the morning, I can still hear rain. <laughs> did you get it? I'm not sure. Ringing, morning. Oh, another one of those jokes. Okay. Why, I guess, why don't you just I sign guess it and then I can get going? I guess my humor is too for you. Huh? <laughs> okay. There you go. I'll, I'll trust you with my... Oh, I can have my pen. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Chris. Okay. Let me take a look at my book here. Because Mitzi interrupted me. She always does that. Does she have a teleporter as a Star Trek? Okay. Let's see. I think I'm in Chapter 7. about Mount Carmel and Elijah, okay. In spite of the tremendous victory Elijah experienced on Mount Carmel, he did not want to celebrate it. In fact, at the very height of his success, Elijah became so fearful, disoriented, and depressed that he fled from Mount Carmel and went into complete isolation in a cave at Mount Horeb, a long distance from Mount Carmel. There sometimes is no clear relationship between a person's experience and feeling depressed. Elijah's behavior may seem rather strange to us in our success-oriented culture, but it did have a very therapeutic effect. It gave him the space he needed to reflect on what God was doing in his life, and in the isolation of Mount Horeb, Elijah was finally able to hear the still, small voice of God. Pastor? Oh, Jesus! you again. What are you doing? you got to stop sneaking up on people like that, Bitsy. I thought it was somebody else's voice. Um, that I'm, I was listening to. I'm sorry uh, again, but, but Pastor, there's, there's someone 